Brooks want to have his case calendar going forward? After speaking with Mr. Brooks, he would like to set this for a trial, Your Honor. Okay. Um, let's look for a trial and final pretrial date. Um, um, looking at the court's calendar, um, I, Mr. Corey, I don't see you have anything scheduled on July 10th. Is that because you're not available um, or? No, I'm, I'm out the week before, but I'm back the 10th. Um, I, the court would have availability July 10th if that uh, works for counsel. That would work for me. That's fine. All right. Um, July 10th for jury trial. Um, and then let's see if we can pick a final pretrial date uh, about a month before that. Okay. How's June 7th at nine o'clock? I cannot do the seventh. I'm gone essentially from the seventh until the twentieth. Okay. How was the Monday of that week, June fifth at nine o'clock? That's fine. Okay. That worked for me. All right. The next date will be June fifth at nine o'clock for final free trial. All right. I'm sorry. Um, I forget. Mr. Brooks, does he, do you want to be produced for everything? So for that date, or do you want to do that over Zoom? Uh, I would like to do that Zoom. Okay. Okay. Um, are you currently at Dodge or are you someplace else? I'm at Dodge, Steve. All right. I'll just ask. Um, I Normally, like that's, well, back in, I'm old. It used to be that people stayed there six weeks. I don't know what the current thing is. So I'll just ask Mr. Hampton and Mr. Rakestra, if Mr. Brooks is moved to a different institution, if you can let us know, I'll ask my deputy court clerk today to just notify Dodge. Um, sometimes they can be a little prickly in like, like if we send them a notice today, they may send something back saying it's too far in advance. Let us know two or three weeks in advance. We'll try and stay on top of that. I'm going to ask Mr. Hampton and Mr. Rakestraw to monitor that. I don't have a permanently assigned deputy court clerk. So the young lady who's here today may not be here tomorrow. So it just, I, I don't want this to fall through the cracks. All right. June 5th, nine o'clock for final pretrial, July 10th at 9 a.m. for trial. Um, motions, motions in limine, witness lists, and jury instructions. I, I don't, I, I apologize. I don't know if Mr. Core, you'd already filed those documents. I did. Um, all right. So if there's any additional defense motions, those would be due by the final pretrial date, um, as well as any witness list for the defense. Uh, and, uh, um, I, I will require that uh, both parties review discovery materials in the event they believe a necessary witness for either party requires independent representation, that they make arrangements for that representation through the Office of the State Public Defender. Anything else we need to talk about uh, this afternoon, Mr. Hampton Rakestraw? Oh, Mr. Core. No, thank you. All right, Ms. Brooks, good luck to you. Try and stay safe, try and make good decisions. We'll see you June 5th, 9 o'clock for final free trial. Thank you, Your Honor. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're going to go to see you and I'll see you in Havis in a second. All right, well, have a nice trip back to Madison. I will. I've got some other stuff here. Well, two things to put on. Motions that can't get heard. Whatever happened to um, the gentleman that we had that uh, had the 